Hey guys, how you doing today? Did you see that news article? The one where they're like, hey, we're going back to the old normal. You didn't see that? Oh, maybe it was a dream. Yeah, it must have been a dream. That's why they kept telling us this is the new normal because we're never going back to the old normal. <laughs> I hate to sound like a pessimist, but I kind of believe that. I kind of believe that we are going to be in this new normal forever. And I don't know what I think about it. I'm not too happy with it. Anyway, I always like to open up with something that's kind of funny because everything that's going on is not so funny. Um, I'm in the parking lot of Lowe's right now and I just want to make a quick video. I'm running in here to get some dirt because I need to transplant some of my plants, my vegetables, which I'm so excited about. Um, and it made me start thinking about lumber and cost of goods and um, supply chain stuff and um, I don't really know much about lumber because I don't buy it, I don't build stuff. Um, but in my line of business, uh, the cost of lumber and other commodities has had a huge effect. So, um, I'm in sales. And not that I'm hiding it or anything, but I don't want to say specifically what um, I sell just because, I don't know, I'm a single woman and I don't want anyone like trying to come up to my workplace or anything is that weird I don't know just being safe um, anyway the price of commodities has drastically affected my line of business and it has caused the cost of what I sell to go up like crazy so we're talking what used to be maybe in November of last year something that was $6.99 um, $699 uh, went up a couple months later to $799 and then now as of yesterday that same product is $999 it's $1,000 um, I think I calculated that's a 25% increase and then I'm seeing all these other things go up you know 17% 19% that is a huge huge price increase when we're talking about um, in the hundreds of dollars and the people that buy these products from me are not making tons more money. So with all these things going up in price and people not making more money, I just can put two and two together and uh, see that my sales are probably going to go down. And that coupled with the fact that everything that I sell is taking months to get is is hurting my line of business um, it used to be that I could sell something and then within a week or two that that product would be delivered and I would get paid for it um, now that it's taking two three four five months to get that product delivered um, that means that I'm not getting paid on those items right away and it's kind of crazy I mean I'm hanging in there I'm doing okay but I just kind of wanted to talk about this the whole supply chain thing um, you know product availability price increases and no one's making drastic amounts of um, increased income right now so how are we all going to survive through this I mean the product I sell is actually a necessity um, everyone has it everyone needs it um, technically I guess you don't need it yeah but yeah you really do <laughs> um, and I kind of just wanted to ask you guys what do you do for a living um, or if you're like a stay-at-home parent um, how have you seen in your life all of these things affect you you know if you're the person who stays at home you do your grocery shopping what kind of increases in price or limited supply have you seen and if you say maybe you work in construction maybe you um, work in production, um, whatever you might do for a living. Maybe you're in sales. Maybe um, you are a staffer. What are you seeing that this whole new normal has changed? I'm really interested because I see a lot of other prepping channels talk about, okay, the price of lumber going up, the cost of food going up, which I haven't seen too much, um, but I have seen some things not available. In fact, I'm going to include a couple little shots up here of when I was trying to put together my Walmart shopping list, and I was just looking for a couple things. Um, I was going to make some pot roast, and I was looking for onions, potatoes, and carrots. And 
those items were completely out of stock. So that's kind of crazy. <laughs> that's kind of scary, actually. So the whole um, idea of growing your own food might be a good idea right now. Um, anyway, I don't want to make this too long of a rambling video, but please comment down below how you have seen all of this affect you, your life, your work, and that kind of thing. And everybody just keep prepping. Keep prepping and take care until I see you on the next video.